Mmm. There's nothing like a good beverage. Thanks for tuning in today. I want to add some more different type of contents here on my YouTube channel, James Clem DDS. I want to do a three minute tips and tricks in our dental theater, our dental studios. There are so many tips that I've gleaned from others through the years. And as they come through my field of vision, I want to pass them on to you folks and things that I use as well. Now, here at my digital studio, here on my homestead, this is my very first equipment that I placed in. It's a pro craft light, a good lab light. And I got it as a craft light and it has an LED light that's in that range of 55 to 57 Kelvin. So that means it's color corrected, but more importantly, this is what I really love. On top, it has a five power magnifying glass. So that means I can work without my loops on, particularly at my age, it's really helpful, particularly when I'm wanting to turn around clinical dentistry quickly, since I do in-office CAD CAM dentistry, this is how I finish my Emacs, my zirconia, my other materials as well. So I really appreciate this as well. I've had it down in my practice for about five years and it's worked extremely well. They're saying the LED light in this will last about 25,000 hours. And I don't think I've come close to that yet down in my clinical theater, but I've really appreciated this a lot. And this is how I work my color matching. I work from photographs. So I'll have a screen with my color corrected photographs with my flash system. And I'll do my color characterization with my stains and glazes, such as I have a color, Mio 850, Mio regular, these systems are incredible and I find this light source is accurate enough with the white balance that I can look at the screen and pretty much nail it here. I don't have to do it chair side. At least in my hands, that works really well. Where do you get this light? It's GarrettWade.com. It runs around $180. That's very inexpensive compared to dental lights that I've looked at. Now, there's nothing wrong with dental lights. This is a craft light and I really have loved this light. And if you have a lab bench, which I recommend all in-office CAD CAM people to have a lab bench because you can get away from the patient. Not that I don't like patients, I love patients. But sometimes I wanna to go to my little oasis emotionally where I get really creative and that's when my best artistic approach happens. But to do that, you need a lab bench, you need a good light source, you need to have a system that you can trust. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. I wanna hear what you have to say, and I'll be adding a lot more of these tips and tricks in our clinical studios that will make our life better. Bye. Oh my goodness. Not bad for a 65-year-old hand. Mmm, but it's great for ceramics.